The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. The protectorate, as it was called, was a town that was shrouded in a fog of sorrow. Every year on the day of sacrifice, the council of elders would take the newest baby and leave it in the woods, they say, to appease the wit. The witch, whose name was Zan, was actually very kind. She didn't understand why the people of the protectorate would take a baby and leave it in the woods, but every year she ventured on a perilous and arduous journey across the forest to rescue the baby and take it to one of the free cities where it would find a home. This year, however, the journey was a bit different. Zan would stop and feed the baby's starlight to appease their hunger, but this year she was so enraptured with the newest baby that she accidentally reached up and got part of the moon instead. And the baby drank and drank and drank. By the time Zan realized what she had done, she had enmagicked the child and knew at this point there was nothing else she could do but take it home with her. So she crossed the forest and through the bog to her home where she lived with a friendly bog monster named Gurk and a tiny, tiny dragon named Firion. As Luna ages and grows, so does the magic she doesn't know she possesses. As the story unfolds, we learn that the Protectorate is not as it seems. We meet a kind young man named Antane and a mad woman who's been locked in a tower who seems to possess her own kind of magic. As evil forces arise, Zan's whole purpose is to protect Luna with Gurk and Firion by her side. Zan sets out on a journey she knows she may never return from.